Paro. I'd like to invite now Reverend Milhan Stevens to lead us in the family pledge. Kajang Mengse, Il, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Pon Hyang Tangal Chaja, Ponyane Changjo Yi Sangin, Chisang Chongukwa, Chonsang Chongugal, Changon Hakosal Mengse Hanaida. E. Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumunimgwa Cham Pumonimul Moshio, Chonjue de Pyojok Kajungi Temio, Jungshimjok Kajungi Deo, Kajonga Son and Hyoja, Kuka Son and Jungshin, Sege Son and Songin, Chonjue Son and Songjae Kajonga Toridul, One Song Harkosul, Mengse Hanaida. Sam, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajungan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Sade Shim Jongwangwa, Samde Wangwangwa, Hongjok Wanul Wansong Harkosul Mengse Hanaida. Sa, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumonime Changjo Yi Sangin, Chanju de Kajogul Hyong Song Hayo, Jaiwa Pyonghawa Tongyogwa, Hengboge Segedul, one song harkosul meng se hanaida. O, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Meil Ju Chejok Chan Sang Segewa, Te Sang Jok Jisang Segei Tongeru Hyanghe, Chan Jin Jok Pal Janel Chok Chin Pahar Kosul Meng Se Hanaida. Yuk, Chanel Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumanimwa Cham Pumonime Teshin Kajanguroso Chanunul Umjigiden Kajangu Deo Hanre Chukbogul Jubione Yongir Shikenen Kajangul Wansang Harkosul Mengse Hanaida Chil Chanel Guk Juin Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago Bonene Hyotongwa Yongir Duen We Hanen Senghwarul Tonghaya Shimjong Munhua Segeru Wansong Harkosul Meng Se Hanaida. Pal Chanel Guk Juin Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago Chanel Guk Shideru Majihayo Cholte Shinang Cholte Sarang Cholte Pokjongro Shinine Ilche Isangul Iruo Chisang Chongukwa Chonsang Chonguge Hebangwongwa Sokbangwonel Wansong Harkosul Meng Se Hanaida. To thank you, Reverend Milhan. I'd like to invite now uh, Francis Marsal to open us in a prayer. Oh, Francis. Uh, good morning, our beloved Heavenly Parent. Good morning, our beloved precious two parents. We we want to really uh, thank you for this beautiful brand new day. And as we are offering our heart, our mind, and uh, as we really uh, come before you, uh, centering on the word and together with our brothers and sisters and together with you and uh, uh, our precious Dr. Young and all our families, we, we, we know this is the, a great condition we can make. This is a, a great offering for the sake of America and for the sake of this world. So we want to receive, we want to attend, and we want to practice whatever content we are receiving so far. We're so grateful we can practice these words. And so we, in great anticipation, we want to prepare our heart and receive uh, the content for this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Parent, for gathering us, for inspiring us. And many of us, our life has changed. And so many of us are realizing so many things more deeper and deeper in our, uh, in our uh, relationship with you, with our true parents, with our family, with our brothers and sisters, and in our own family also. So thank you, Heavenly Parent. And we pray this in our, all our names present and my name, Francis and Marianne Mosso, Blessed Central Family. Achoo. Achoo. Amen. Thank you, Francis Young. All right. Good morning again, everybody. 
Uh, thank you for coming on. It's now that time where we get to share our appreciations with one another, three to five points in our breakout rooms. So take these next seven, six minutes and enjoy.
Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I hope you had a good chance to share with one another. Uh, I was in a breakout room once again with the Takami boys. Uh, I'd like to invite Seimun and Aki. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, I can share first. Um, wow. Oh, wow. See you again. Very happy. Wow. Good. We're blessed. Uh, really interesting how God guides or God works, but yeah. Um, okay, so what I'm really grateful for this morning, um, yeah, I'm actually really grateful to Dr. Young. Um, morning devotion yesterday, actually. Uh, mm. You know, being, my takeaway was being a victor in every moment. And, mm. you know, yesterday was interesting because I actually had uh, fallen sick, um, you know, overworking myself and taking a nap for two hours. <laughs> I woke up so sore and my head was burning and um, yeah. And so I woke up, I, I slept early last night, but waking up, I, I felt like, you know, I, I didn't know if I wanted to get up early. <laughs> so um, just being able to get up early and kind of go back to the morning devotion from yesterday was really, um, I think, a victory and really trying to apply the morning devotion in my own uh, daily life in small, very small ways. But um, yeah, so I'm really grateful for Dr. Young. Okay. So, Thank you. And then Semun? Yeah, for me, I, w I woke up feeling really grateful to to two parents. Um, the reason being, like, yesterday we had, uh, at GPA, we had this blessing workshop um, where Yuna, John, Yuna Nuna gave, uh, like, a guidance on the blessing and the original ideal of love. And I don't know, it just, I just felt like, wow, the blessing is such a precious gift from two parents. And yes. even though I'm not blessed, I, I can say, like, just being born into a blessed family. My parents worked it out. All the blessed families, they worked it out there. And they, no matter how hard they, they stuck through it. And I was just so empowered by each testimony, like how each person was, how they got from here and now they're here. And I don't know, just even like the high noon workshop, I think Dr. Young, you've been also like sharing so many secrets as to how we can overcome a lot of these chapter two problems and it's just i just feel really grateful for your parents and yeah thank you dr young so thank you yeah thank you semun uh semun like a korean name yeah it's a korean name yeah semun wow semun means three doors or oh, three moons you have three moons father only have one moon you have three moons <laughs> Amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and then, uh, you know, Aki, Aki Humi and then Semun, wow, you both guys are so handsome. Wow. <laughs> wow. Really too handsome. I worry about you are too handsome. <laughs> so, have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Aki. Thank you, Semun. Yeah. Too handsome. Too handsome. Mm -hmm. And it's totally right. We receive the top secrets every morning from Dr. Young. So I hope our hearts are warm and that we're empty spiritually so that we can be filled up fully from the devotion. I'd like to invite up our incredible leader, Dr. Young, to give us the devotion this morning. Meh. Mm -hmm. Annyeonghaseyo. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Ohayo gozaimasu to all our Japanese brothers and sisters. Ni hao mo, bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga po, sainyo lahat, sawadikap, namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, annyeonghasimnika. Oh, today I just came back to Changpyeong again from Busan Bomnekol Holy Ground. I was I, I had a beautiful experience you know, in Busan when I visited the Holy Ground and on the way also visit to Daegu, the middle part of the South Korea, and then finally came to Changpyeong. So uh, I'm so glad to see each one of you. 
Yesterday, I talked about the stagnation and retreat, you know. A running water never arrives. Living creatures must grow and reproduce. Therefore, my heart and spirit always must be alive as long as I do exist. You know, always must be alive as long as you are alive. And then, you know, always you are growing and then reproducing and then multiplying all the time. And then, you know, to do that, that's why you need to really, uh, you know, have the, I was that, victorious condition every moment, every day, you know, how to win uh, every morning, how to win every day, and then you can become a victor, not a loser. Today, <clears throat> I'd like to talk about one of the very important content also, a prayer time is the time to make offering. Actually, I did not hear this kind of the guidance by Father, but I, when I uh, study about the Father's word, prayer time is the time to make offerings. So this word really thinks so many things, so many things I really, you know, uh, reflect on myself. So let's read uh, Father's Word first. I'd like to invite Heavenly Honey to read Father's Word. Prayer time <coughs> is the time to make offerings. Prayer time is not the time to boast about yourself, but rather the time to make offerings. You need to determine to become a sacrificial offering saying, God, if you feel sorrow, please indemnify it through me. Not only that, please indemnify all the sorrows of our movement through me. If there is such a person, God will come to him no matter how much he tries to stay away. Even if he doesn't want to, God will make a relationship with him. Since heaven's history can advance forward only through a person like him, God has no choice but to relate with him who has such a foundation. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Wow, I really totally admire father's attitude. Amazing, isn't it? Prayer time is the time to make offerings. Father said, prayer time is not the time to boast about yourself, but rather the time to make offerings. You need to determine to become a sacrificial offering, saying, God, if you feel sorrow, please identify it through me, oh my God. Not only that, please identify all the sorrows of your movement through me. Wow. What kind of attitude toward God? This word is really, really touch my heart and hit my heart. How can I resemble such a father's attitude? The, his attitude, attitude of the filial piety. He want to do everything for God. He want to indemnify on behalf of God everything. That's why Heavenly Father give me any problems, any indemnity cause, any suffering, any problems give me. I will indemnify through me. Please indemnify all the, your sorrows of our movement through me. 
Wow. Have you heard this kind of the prayer through other Christian ministers? From other saints and then, you know, famous leaders? Nobody pray like that. That's why we need to inherit that kind of attitude from Father. Dear Heavenly Parent, if you have indemnity, suffering, and sorrow that you must pass over, please lend me indemnify them. So we need to really resemble our true parents. We need to inherit that kind of spirit of the true parents. I want to indemnify any Heavenly Father suffering, any Heavenly Father sorrowful heart, any his suffering and difficulties. Please give me, I will indemnify. I don't want to run away from my own indemnity. You know, rather, I really want to really indemnify all your suffering. So far, how much you suffer last 6,000 years. Now it is my turn to suffer. It is my turn to really overcome all any difficulties on behalf of you, heavenly parents. Wow, this is really, that's why I need to change, you know, my attitude of the, uh, my attitude, how to pray. True parents, that's why I write like that. True parents, if there are crosses, pains, and sorrows that true parents must pass over, please let me indemnify them. You know, like a, like uh, Isa, o one uh, you know, according to Father's sharing, when you know Abraham tried to offer and kill his only son Isa, and then Abraham hear the God's voice, and he gave up to kill him. And then this Isa is wondering what happened to my father. He did not hear God's voice. And then, you know, he talked to Father Abraham. I am ready to become offering for God. Do not afraid of me. Do not afraid of anything. Please offer. Father, I am ready to become offering. Wow, that's why God was so surprised to see Abraham's such a determination. He want to pay any indemnity when he made a mistake. He do not spill it about the dove. Then since he failed his offering, he really incredibly feel pain and then so much was a conscience, conscience stricken. How can I recover about that? That's why he determined to offer his only son Isaac what God ordered to him. Because his priority is God. Can you imagine offer, you know, his only son? When he has, uh, when he become a hundred years old, he got Isaac and then offered to heavenly parents. Wow. Not just only about offering Isaac. Killing Isaac means what? Offer his life. Heavenly Father, if possible, take my life instead of my son. And then secondly, Isaac attitude is more beautiful. He is a really filial son. He lay down. But all of a sudden his father did not, did not do anything. He did not hear God's voice. And then, and then he wake up 
and stand up and talk to Father. Do not scare. Please. He think his father is scared and hesitate to kill him. Wow. That's why Heavenly Father said, I am a God of Abraham. I am a God of Isaac. Wow. That's why Father said, what is that? Prayer time is the time to make offerings. Through my offerings can indemnify. I can do anything, even I offer my life. You know, that is our central figures. Noah was like that. Abraham was like that. Isaac was like that. Jacob was like that. Moses was like that. Jesus was like that. Our true parents was like that. Our true mother was like that. That's why Father said, prayer time is the time to make offerings. How can I offer my spirit? How can I offer my heart? How can I offer everything for God? Wow. Normally people want to escape from the suffering, from the indemnity, from hardships, from trials. But Father was not like that. How much beautiful our true Father. He really truly understand God's heart. Even true mother, Father Moon, my husband, you already went to spiritual world, no worry about all three world. I will be responsible. I want to become offering for God. I will do everything. Please, just you glorify for God, console him and comfort him because God was so much lonely. I will do that. Mother, willingly prepare to become not national offering, not worldwide level offering. He want to be a cosmic offering. This is our mother. If there is a cross that need to be passed over in order to achieve world peace, please let me indemnify it. Heavenly parents, I really hate secular world. I really hate Satan's world. I really completely boring about the Satanic world. I truly, truly miss ideal world, kingdom of heaven, centering on God. We really create one family under God. I want to live in that kind of the peaceful world, which is the kingdom of heaven, Heavenly Father. You know, to establish it, that kind of the kingdom of heaven, I can indemnify anything using me. Please, Heavenly Father, indemnify anything. How beautiful it is if we pray like that. If there is a cause that needs to go through in order to establish a heavenly unified Korea, please let me become a sacrificial offering for it. If there is a way to unify between North Korea and South Korea, then become heavenly unified Korea, heavenly father, I can do anything. This is our heavenly father's so wish, our true parents change the hope, and then becoming about the uh, sacrificial offering, and then can pay the indemnity. I will do that, heavenly father. If there is a way, there is a way to establish heaven unified Korea as an individual, as a family, as an elder son nation, as a North America, as a USA, America, as an elder son nation, as an elder daughter nation. We can do anything, heavenly parents. 
please maximum utilize us. I learn from Father. We need to have this kind of attitude. As an elder nation, if there is a cause that heavenly America needs to go through to become the center of the world, let me become sacrificial offering for it. Through my small junction, through my small offering, and then entire our American brothers and sisters become completely make the unity and then close relations with God, close relations with the true parents. How many parents? Dr. Young, as a continental director, I'd like to offer anything. If there is a way to make the unity, close relations with our true parents, and with the heavenly parents, for the American brothers and sisters, Making heavenly America nation, heavenly Father. I I want to do anything for that. I willingly want to become offering. I want I want I willingly want to become a sacrificial offering for it. If we have this kind of attitude, you and me all together. Even though we are not much members and numbers, but through that kind of artistic offering, attitude, we can change our family and society, our nation. If there are crosses that must be born and indemnity that must be paid in order to establish Chonilgu, let us make sure to achieve it at any cost. True Father, could not see Chanil go on the earth. How much he waited and waited. He said, just even single day, I want to be there and then die. And then I don't have any kind of the resentment. True Father, could not see even one single day of the Chanilgu. When I think about that, I really feel sorry to our father. Now he's in spiritual world. How much he had cherished the hope. How much he begged to uh, beg begged to ask all blessed family unite together. Centering a true mother, establishing substantial channel group. How much he really longed for that. Heavenly Father, true parents, that is a way to really accomplish our true father's dream, cherish the hope. Heavenly God, I want to do anything. If there is no, to, if there is no, there is a way to pay the indemnity. I will pay any indemnity at any cost. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to inherit it from our Father. Whenever he pray, he is praying like that. That's why he say, prayer time is a time to make our offerings. There are various difficulties in my family. Everybody have problem. Everybody have the problem in the family, right? If there is a still a cause of the cross to overcome, please lend me indemnity, indemnity fight by representing everything. You know, do not play my husband. Do not play my wife. How come my child is like that? Do not blame and criticize any child. There is still something 
remain to pay the indemnity on behalf of my family, on behalf of my wife or husband, on behalf of my parents, on behalf of the, my children. I willingly, voluntarily, I pay indemnity. Heavenly Father, give me any burden, any difficulties. I willingly pay the indemnity. My child is a difficult situation. He has a problem, many, many problems, Heavenly Father. My child, he's a second generation. Even though he's a second generation, many kinds of problem, what to do? However, if there is a cause that my child needs to go through, please allow me to become a sacrificial offering for everything gratefully as a parent, you know, I will pay any indemnity for my child. When I hear you know, some testimony, one of the Japanese wife, she received a message from Mrs. Kambara. Mrs. Kambara said that, I am okay, no worry. That's the only I concern, my son. Wow, that is a parental heart. Parental heart already forgive his son, her son. Already forgive. Just worry about his future. Through this kind of pain, the condition of the indemnity, God's providence is developing, I can do it. Even fallen parents thinking like that. How about God? He is our eternal parents. If there is a the way to pay indemnity for all mankind, even though they have own personal of responsibility, if we, there is a way to pay indemnity for each one of the all fallen people, God say, I will do it. I am doing it. That is a heavenly God. That is a our true parent. My object partner is, an, is a, in a difficult situation. If I can pass it over by attending and serving him or her, please let me become a sacrificial offering for it with joy and gratitude. Only a few days ago, we are talking about when you see your spouse's weak point, and then you need to appreciate, ah, when you find out your spouse of fault and a weak point, Heavenly Father, thank you so much. You give me to serve for my spouse. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I can, I can serve for my life, my, my wife, whole life for her. Heavenly Father, you give me that kind of time to serve her. I really appreciate my brothers and sisters. Let's learn from Father. Prayer time is a time to make offerings. Prayer time is a time to comfort God's heart. How much have you walked the heart today? How much have you worry about humanity? Heavenly God. Prayer times are time to comfort God's heart. God's heart through parents' heart. How much have our heavenly parents worked hard today? How much have our true parents worry about humanity? Prayer time is a time when I ask what God's cross is 
and decided to bear his cross. That's why when, when you have prayer time, please, Heavenly Father, I want to willingly want to bear your cross. I can do anything for you. Father said, this is the prayer time to determine and decide to bear heavenly cross, true parents' cross, the cross of the all mankind. <laughs> prayer time is a time to read God's mind. Ask God, how are you, Heavenly Father? What are you doing? What is your situation now? That's why when you really kneel down and meditate, and then you can read God's mind, it is time to check God's heart. He's happy or sorrowful, difficult, when you report your daily life. Heavenly Father, I done this, this, this. I made a mistake, this and that. What do you think? What have you done today? Watch your heart. Because he's my father, he's my mother. Ask my parents, how are you? Prayer time is a time to listen to God's voice. That's why do not stop your prayer until you're hearing God's voice. Prayer time is a time to listen to God's voice. What is going to talk to me? And then you need to write down his inspiration, his revelation. What is going to talk to me? That's why you really empty. You need to make empty mind. And then meditate and ask her, ask God, what, uh, what should I do? Definitely he will give inspiration, answer to you, guide you. Since it is the era of the Chun Il Gung now, it is the time to make my shojong as an offering. Father said, now era of the indemnity is over. Now is the era of the Chun Il Gung. What does era of the Chun Il Gung? Chun Il, era of the Chun Il Gung means offering my heart, offering my hyojang, offering my love. Out of the chanilguk is, what is that? Offering what? My hyojang. I can do anything for you. I do exist for you. I live for you. I can die for you. I can do anything for you. I can indemnify anything for you. This is the heart of filial piety. Era of the Chanilgu requires Shojong offering. Heavenly Honey, I'd like to invite you again. The person who is not dead, even though he died. When those who comforted God and worked for him in order to make him happy, look back on the path that they have walked, they cannot consider themselves to be dead, even though they died. With such a heart, you need to extend your scope and fight in the battle, not only on the individual level, but also on the family level. If you fought for your family with such a heart in the past, you need to fight for your tribe and then for your people, your nation, and for the world. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. <clears throat> The person who is not dead, even though he died. How do I know my heart is alive? How do I know my heart is alive? Think about it. Your heart is really alive? How can I know? 
Are you always filled with a heart to comfort God? You know, just now, one brother shared to me about his appreciation. He's so tired the whole day because he's working very hard. And then came back home and then take shower. And then so much exhausted. But when he shower and the thing about even myself this much, you know, exhausted. How about her father when he was in Hengnam prison? He think about father's Hengnam prison's life. And then he comfort her father. Then when he is so he is so exhausted and tired, when he think about father console him and comfort him and the thing about the father's torturing and suffering his all tiredness just gone away that's why when we are so tired let's think heavenly father's tiredness let's think through parents tiredness that is the best moment console and comfort God and our true parents. Are you always filled with the desire to bear God's cross? Hmm? Need to think about filial son and daughters willingly, happily want to bear God's cross. Not, not only the Messiah, not only true father, true mother, we already learn from our true parents that we need to inherit our true parents' spirit. That, that's why we need to have a strong desire to bear God's cross. God's cross, even our true parents' cross, even our the, you know, cross of the all mankind. If your heart is like that, then your heart is alive. Are you always going to the front line and trying to convey God's sorrowful heart? As long as you understand God's sorrowful heart, as long as you experience God's sorrowful heart, willingly, my job is to save the people. I want to go to front line. I want to save even one soul, one person's soul. That's why those who are alive always focus on salvation to save people. Are you always trying to fight on the world stages? Not just on the individual level, not just on the national level, willingly. Do you want to fight on the world stages? If you always share tears for God, your heart will never dry out. You can always keep your heart alive. Even if such a person is dead, he or she is not dead. Wow. How much important it is to understand God's heart, understand our true parents' heart. We are trying to comfort him, try to console him, willingly bear heavenly parents and true parents across. This is the attitude of the filial sons and daughters. If you have that kind of attitude, you are not dead. You are all with alive. If we want to expand to level of a tribe and people, nation and world, you know, to establish channel go, you must go, go out and fight to convey God's sorrowful heart. My dear brothers and sisters, Father said, the person who is not dead, even though he died, what kind of person? 
his heart always filled with the heart to comfort God, the desire to bear God's cross and our true parents' cross. Very important point. Today's youth ministry, I'd like to share shortly for the sake of the young people. The attitude of the faith when dealing with an enemy. The reason why God gives me an enemy, you know, to get rid of the condition through which Satan can accuse me and take uh, to make me a true person. You know, that's why we really appreciate our enemy. Why? Without enemy, there's no way to get rid of our fallen nature. In the kingdom of heaven, doesn't exist about the, the word of the enemy. There is no enemy, no hatred, no evil. So, enemy doesn't exist. It means I need to overcome. Through the loving enemy, I can get rid of the, my fallen nature. Through the loving enemy, I can upgrade my level of heart and love. Without loving enemy, there is no way to pay indemnity. There is no way to you know, remove the, my fallen nature. That's why. I have enemy means you are not yet perfect. You don't have enemy means your heart is already perfect. Nobody accuses you. Somebody accuses you means you have a fallen nature. Huh? Jesus, when he crucified on the cross, left the thief criticized Jesus. It's time to make the miracle. Why don't you come down from the cross? Even though his enemy accused Jesus. And then his enemy killed him. Bleeding and bleeding. But rise like a thief. Recognize. Jesus' love is how much incredible. Forgive his enemy. <laughs> he does not know what he's doing. At that moment, Satan completely surrender. Rise as a thief, completely surrender. That is the quality of Jesus' love. So, do you have an enemy? You need to appreciate. If you overcome your enemy, and then God give you more higher level enemy. Actually, your number one enemy is not your spouse, not your husband and your wife, your children. Your number one enemy is yourself. Number one enemy is what? Your own self. Your own self center is your number one enemy. How to overcome it? You know, Father said, without loving enemy, there is no perfection. That's why when we challenge to love our enemy, and then day by day, our spirit is really growing up, and then become, what is that? Life spirit, and then become divine spirit. Reach into divine spirit. Enter the world of heart. That's why Father said, was that our life cause of restoration? Our life cause of restoration is to love enemy. Able need to love his king. And then Cain need to love his enemy. Wife need to love husband. Husband need to love wife. 
actually not simple. You know, fallen man and woman married together and living together, not simple. Not simple. But Father said, was a true restoration. Through restoration, you overcoming your limitation with your spouse. Truly, truly loving your spouse, your enemy. Oh, I want to divorce. I want to separate from. Of course, sometimes I know difficult situation. Everybody understand, everybody can sympathize. But if possible, you need to overcome. If I do not overcome, my children need to overcome. My children need to not overcome. And then this, my duty, responsibility, my cross need to pass to my descendant. Therefore, what's the, what's the purpose of the restoration? That is to, to love your enemy. As long as I could not love my enemy, I could not love my king, there is no eternal peace. That's why we need to appreciate loving our enemy. I can love what I can love. Then that is not true love. You need to love what I cannot love. That is love. That is true love. I can love something what I can love. That is not true love. Without loving my enemy, I cannot reach perfection. Ultimately, the course of restoration is a course to love my enemy. There can be no eternal peace unless Abel brings Cain to natural surrender. Not by force, not by duty. Heavenly Father never using his force. He want to using his power and force. Already, already unify the world. Heavenly Father do not provide five minute air. Everybody surrender. Everybody surrender. But he never using his force and power because love is a volunteer. So what's the attitude of the faith when dealing with an enemy? I will take responsibility for you, my enemy, for eternity. Father said total salvation. Without exception, including my enemy. If my enemy appeared to me, he is my spouse, my husband, my wife, my children, my neighbor, anyone. I will take responsibility for my enemy, for eternity. This is my mission. This is my job. This is my duty. This is my portion of responsibility to overcome it and the responsible for my enemy. You need to think that way. That's why sometimes when I was young and then sometimes struggling with my able, some people, and then I really pray until I overcoming with my enemy. And then when I overcome and then that guy apologizes me or I apologize, and I feel that I, I have a completely different level of my heart and love. Then I realize that through loving enemy, really upgrading my love, my heart. You need to embrace your enemy with a parent heart. Second attitude. I will protect you, my enemy, for eternity. Even though you try, even though you try to kill me, try to accuse me, try to criticize me, but I love you. No matter what, even though you want to kill me, I want to protect you, my enemy. That's the cause of the restoration. No matter what.
I will raise you my enemy with the word and love for eternity. How to raise up my enemy? Through my love. Through God's word. Need to educate. Through the, my prayer. Continuously pray. You know, last time I got a really have a very difficult guy and then without knowing any reason, just persecuting me, hating me, oh, so long time. And then Heavenly Father, please Heavenly Father, I want to build good relationship with him. Every day I pray, if I do not overcome this guy, and how can I love my own brothers and sister? What I talk about, you are hypocrite. So God, you give me such a difficult guy, difficult able. There is a reason I need to overcome. Finally, few years, 10 years later, we embrace each other. I feel like overjoy. Heavenly Father, I overcame my limitation. From now on, if I you give me another, you know, enemy more, more difficult enemy, I will take it. That is my job, my mission. My mission, my job is to love my enemy. Even though my enemy hate me, I will love you. I pray for you, my enemy, for eternity. Like a chaksarang, God's chaksarang, one side of love. Even though you hate me, I love you. Even though you don't like me, I love you. Until you love me, I continuously love me. Even, you know, no, no time to re reconcile between you and me. Even I die and go to spiritual world, I still pray for you. I still love you. Even though it looks like my love is a one-sided love, I try to love you forever. Why? God was like that. My beloved Jesus was like that. Our true father was like that. Our true mother was like that. That's why, you know, to become God's sons and daughters, I should be like that. Then only I can become God's filial sons and daughters. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Young. Thank you, thank you. Let's go straight into our breakout rooms for six minutes and share our inspiration or what touched our heart uh, together.
Thank you so much. Wow, such a deep sharing. I'm so moved. I would like to invite up, um, we're getting a lot of young faces these days. Uh, I was with Eugen. Eugen, would you like to share? Uh, yeah, I can share. Um, I see today, uh, the part that really struck me was uh, prayer time is a time to listen to God's voice. And Dr. Zay Young said, like, to keep praying until you can finally hear God. And I reflected on the way I prayed and the times where I just have kept talking to God and just kept talking and talking and talking and talking and never really, like, paused to finally hear what God had to say. And probably maybe God was, like, waiting, you know, to finally, like, tell me. Maybe I was like, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? And maybe he was, like, waiting to finally answer. But maybe because I didn't take the time to pause and listen to his voice and I wasn't able to get the inspiration. And I remember the time when I was able to do that, to just pause and listen to God's voice. This is, let me say this real quickly. So there was a time when I was really struggling with what to study in school, what kind of career to go into. And I was praying constantly before I went to college. And then one day, um, as I was, I was um, reading one of Father's speeches, like all of a sudden, like I got the answer. It wasn't, may not have been like through like a direct voice from God, but like God answered me through like the speech or through like people. And because I took the time to recognize that this is God answering my prayer, this is God's voice, then I was able to find like the direction for my life. So I'm really grateful for the reminder to always like wait and listen to what God has to tell us and not just constantly like talking at him. Wow. Thank you, Eugene. Oh, I love your beautiful hairstyle. Happy. <laughs> Yeah, wow. <laughs> your, this is very much a traditional, traditional hairstyle from your country. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> not really, yeah, but like it's typically African, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank Eugene. You. Yeah, Thank you, around. Eugene. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I'll also invite Seikichi Muto to share his reflection. Uh -huh. Good morning. Um, mm. This morning, I got uh, so many inspiration and uh, guidance from Dr. Young and <laughs> overwhelm. And also the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, the, our MC too. <laughs> so, yeah. The first the, uh, uh, let's say, let's say the, um, the enemy, right? Enemy. Yeah, usually the, wow. too difficult, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you for God, my, my training, <laughs> go to heaven, right, so, thank you God, so, I have to love the all employee, all enemy, right, so, and then this morning, I wake up and I realize, this is, oh, heavenly parents, so great, because the, the, the gate of heaven is narrow, but not narrow, it's low, very low. So we have to go humble down <laughs> to, you know, the, <laughs> obey to my wife, the humble down to my children, humble down to my employee, <laughs> customer, right? <laughs> wow, humble down to my en enemies. <laughs> Yeah, he heaven, the, the gate is so low, so <laughs> yeah. that's idea, right? So then, yeah, we share with Joshua and everybody, so mm. yeah, thank you so much. This is my... Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much, Dr. Yon. Toshi ga tote, ano satote irun desu ne, watashi dachi wa. <laughs> I am 68 now. So. <laughs> <laughs> ne? Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Kamiga 
ええー、あの私にそんな恩賜を神様がくださったことに対して感謝してもっと努力すればいつかあの屈服するんだと思います本当にありがとうございますありがとうございます、うん、はい、はい、Thank you はい、関地さん、so bright。That's the kind of energy I'm trying to have. God bless.、Uh, thank you, Dr. Young, as well.、Um, yeah, I hope someone can put the translation in the chat for all those that don't know Japanese. All right. Thank you for the reflections. I hope everyone's full. We have one more offering today, a musical offering. I'd like to invite Hannah Bush to share. Her music with us. Hello.、Uh, hi, Dr. Young. Hello, everybody.、Um, yes, last year、uh, was my first time going to Korea、um, during the 2020 events with GPA. And a song that we sang, it was a Korean song. I,、um, and yeah, when I, we, we sang it together.、Um, when I sing it, it, it I feel like it、uh, reminds me about the saying that, like, in our deepest original heart, like, even if we don't know、um, how much we love God, it's your parents, like, still growing, but、um, no matter what, like, the deepest part of our heart loves and longs for God.、Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I really enjoy the song.、Um, it's in Korean, and I'm not. The greatest at Korean, but I'm going to try my best.、Um, Very beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to hear your singing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah.、Uh, yes. <laughs> しもじゅむさらに。開きと一本じゅうなんじょまもらそうね。ああ。ああ。じんじょうなんもらそうね。か、かすめひ、かすめ。しもじゅんぐんさらにひらきときっぽんじゅんなんじょんまもらそうねああああああじんじょんまもらそうねちんじょんなんもらそうね。あなちゃん、Thank you! Bravo! Very good! Awesome! So beautiful! Thank you, Hana.、Um, I'd like to invite it, Tamana Ishibashi, if you could close us in prayer.、Uh, yes, please join me in prayer. Um, good morning, Heavenly Parents, True Parents.、Um, good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for another special morning for us、um, to receive from Dr. Young.、Um, we've been receiving so much on our end, and oh my gosh, I, I can't really express this gratitude that I have, this grateful heart that I have towards Dr. Young and towards everyone who puts in so much effort to、um, bring us so much of your love and your words. Here down to us this morning and to every single morning that we've been having so far. Yes, there's so much, such a long way. We're all very different on different paths, but the one goal that we have is all the same is to get closer to you, God, and is to become more like you, is to become more like true parents and resemble true parents. So I hope that we're able to take. There's, all, there's so many points this morning. I'm pretty sure so many of us are inspired,、um, but I hope that we can take. 
um, just one thing and really work on it to have this heart of gratitude through all the indemnities um, that we have to go through um, and really have this heart to take it on for you, God and true parents, because um, we know how much you have been through. I really hope that we're able to have a heart of a filial child to have this Hyojung and really offer it up to you. I'm taking on this, these indemnities, even though I know that we you take on so much more, we can take on 100% of the indemnity that we feel like we have to take on, but you're taking on 95% of it all the time um, in the big picture. So thank you so much for giving us so much love, for inspiring us every single day. Um, and I hope that we, yes, we can go throughout our day um, and bring you joy and bring you glory today as well. So I just want to say thank you again so much um, for all the blessings that we have been receiving. And I hope that we can really return it back to you. And I'd like to end this um, prayer in our name, so my name, Tamani Shibashi, Daru Nuki Shoko Shibashi, Second General, Blessed Center Family, Aju. Aju, great! Amen. Come on on. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your Jung Sung and devotion. Of course, Dr. Young, we love you. We're ready to come, for you to come back to America soon, soon, soon. God bless you all, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.